rápidamente se incorpora en Undertaker. Viene Misterio. Matada por Adonis. Casi en la cara. What's up, nerds and nerdettes and really little nerd things all? To a buddy, Big John and G, the two gun pits it presents Legendary Gaming. Oh, looks like future Big John and G got that right. All right, so what's up? We have a brand new segment that we are starting today. This may be a monthly episode, I'm not exactly sure, but let's start things off for this premiere episode of Kickstart or Dropkick. And the first thing we got is a game that, well, actually you just kind of recently heard about, so to speak. <laughs> because the original game of this, the first game in the series, is our current monthly prize. Yeah. What game is that? Star Pig! And what game is this? Bar Pig! After Hours. <laughs> this game is currently on Kickstarter, and why don't you join me down at the table, and I'll tell you the pros and cons of Bar Pig After Hours. All right, my friends, let's take a look at this game, Bar Pig After Hours. And let's see if this is the kind of game that you might want to kickstart or dropkick. Well, first of all, I'm a little bit late to the party, I must say, and this game is already funded, actually funded, in 36 hours. And that is amazing. And this is following in the footsteps of their highly successful 2017 Kickstarter for the first game, Bar Pig The Adventuring Party. This game is completely self-contained, but at the same time it is also compatible with the original Bar Pig The Adventure Party game. The Bar Pig series of games is brought to us by Jono and Phil, our very own Gurus of Grunt. If you are familiar with the previous Bar Pig game, then you're going to find these rules to be familiar. Familiar enough that you're going to be able to dive right into this game. This game continues the simple, fun, lighthearted RPG style of leveling up while you're playing. It uses the same card slide technique that the original game did to track your level to track your drinks and to drink track your sobriety another great bonus this game has is that it's a fast simple game you have this card this side and the other side and those are all the rules you need those are all the rules they are but not only is this a fast game to learn, not only is this a fast game to teach, but this is a highly capable game of traveling. A pick up and play the size of your pocket, my friends. My tuck box is well worn, it's fallen apart, look at this. Because this travels so much and has gone so far and has passed through so many hands already. And the next game, After Hours, is just as portable, my friends. Ten, ten, my friends, ten brand new characters. Ten, nine brand new pigs, one wolf. Ten new characters. Ten new characters. I said ten. New characters. Nuff said. We also get to see over a dozen new item cards to backstab and bedevil your friends with. <laughs> the last rites of the reformed goblin. This will let you blindly steal from another player, and you get to keep or discard that card. We got the stolen wallet of endless borrowing. 
when any player is either buying or recharging from their market, steal their bought item, or recharge drink points that they just gained. <laughs> the mysteriously discarded half-eaten kebab. Oh. Oh. Remove one silver point. Oh. And at the end of the night, as bouncers everywhere like to say, you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here, my friends. So it is time to kick them out. This game also has a great mechanic to it, especially when dealing with the specific characters that you play. And these mechanics, these abilities that each player has, each pig has, are great ways to keep all the players engaged even when it's not their turn. Such as the VOD Clinic. Forced charity. Select two other players who must keep giving each other compliments in turn while maintaining eye contact. Whoever can't make a compliment immediately, or if the VOD cleric judges that a compliment was not given, loses two drinks and one sober point. The Ranger. Quick draw. Choose an object in the room. All players draw one item card. And try to get their card as close to the object by flicking it from their hip. Player that's furthest away loses one drink and one sober point. The Muscatini. Slay! Hold your hand out in front of you, shouting a ridiculous word as a cheer. All other players must touch their hands with yours while repeating the word. Last player loses one drink and one sober point. Lagerthorpe, head of the dog. All other players close their eyes and place one hand on the table. Bite any number of players by touching their hand. Each player then guesses how many players were bitten. Players furthest from the real number lose drinks equal to that of the difference and one sober point. These are great mechanics, and each player has one. Each of the different character types all have their own way to interact with all of the characters, all of the players, sitting around the table. And this is a great thing because it cuts down on player downtime. The artwork in this game is stunning. It is beautiful to look at. Whether you're looking at one of your characters, or whether you're looking at one of the items, these images, the colors, they pull you in. I have made this point before, and I'm going to make it again because it's worth it to make. When you're playing a game that you enjoy looking at, whether it's the components or whether it's the art, that is going to make you want to actually play the game more. And this art does make you want to look at it. What Bar Pig After Hours is bringing is follow-up to a proven success. It is giving you a self-contained and yet compatible game with the original. Familiar gameplay. It's easy to learn and easy to teach. There's a fast setup and a fast breakdown. This game allows for player engagement between their turns, keeping everyone interested at all times. This game has great art. And on Kickstarter right now, it has a great price. $20 Euro, which is about $23 American, will get you Bar Pig After Hours. And if you don't have the first one and you're interested in getting that, you can get that also on the Kickstarter. For 30 Euros, about $34 American, you'll be able to get both the original Bar Pig as well as Bar Pig After Hours. It's going to come in a great flip-top box, 72 cards, a die, and let's see how much gets opened up on those stretch goals. Overall, Two Gun Pixie would have to say that this game is Kickstarter gold. Do not dropkick this game. This is something that you need to back, especially if you enjoyed the first one. There is no reason why you should not kickstart 
this second one after hours. And even if you don't know the first game, this game is a true and hysterical party game. This is the kind of game that will engage you and your friends. It will keep you laughing at the table. And all the while, while playing pigs. <laughs> yes, yes, this is to be kickstarted. So thank you very much, everyone, for checking us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I also want to give a great big shout out to everyone that's been going over to the Two Gun Pixie Sazzle store and checking out some of our nerdy merch that we have over there. We have some great RPG inspired as well as general nerdy stuff, I guess you would call it. Maybe there's something you might see over there that you like. Thank you for at least going and checking it out. And right here on our home, our very, very first home. And that's right here on YouTube. Thank you very much, everyone that watches us on YouTube, that is subscribed to our channel. Thank you for commenting, for liking our videos, and thank you so much for sharing the videos that you do enjoy. That means the world to us. So, leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think of party card games in general. And let us know if you are familiar with the original Bar Pig, the adventure party game. All right, I'm your buddy, Big Giant G. Two Gun Fixer presents Legendary Gaming. And my friends, I am out of here. Thank you.